Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, me and Josh are going to be traveling to Iceland, which I'm so excited for. I've never been before and I'm just so happy to be going to, to Iceland and to just see a different country. Um, but yes, before we go, so we are actually going tomorrow morning. We are waking up super, super early. So we're going to get a really early night tonight. But I did also just want to show you um, some new suitcases that I got because I will be using them on this trip. Yeah, please don't mind the state of this room. I've honestly got suitcases and loads of clothes everywhere, but I did just want to show you this new, um, these new suitcases and bags that I got from Horizon Studios. They were kind of gifted to me, um, and I'm so happy to be using these on this trip. So this is a really lovely weekender bag, which is perfect for long weekends away. Um, this is an incredible rucksack, which we will be using um, on a daily basis just to put essentials in there and water and snacks and things like that and then this which is actually my favorite um, is this really nice cabin bag and this is the smart suitcase so it actually has a um, a battery pack as well which is like a one click removable one so you can literally just click it on the side and it pops out and it is just super useful especially for obviously traveling to different countries when you um, need a charger so yeah Horizon Studios and I just wanted to show you um, what they all look like because I'm really really excited to be using new bags um, on this trip I feel like getting new bags or like new suitcases makes a holiday even better like you get to pack and use different like new bags I don't know just really excited to use these as well and they're a perfect size so yes but yeah, so like I said, we are going to Iceland really early tomorrow morning. So I will see you when we're there. <laughs> into our first waterfall which is just there um, where is it this is Selectros and we got so lucky with the weather it's literally 14 degrees and blue skies beautiful it was raining earlier but very lucky now <laughs> doing a great job at driving on the other side of the road on and the steering wheel being on the other side as well so that's different it's quite a few waterfalls actually you can see this one there there but this is the biggest one super cool that's gorgeous oh my goodness that actually looks like it's falling down in slow motion doesn't it it's so pretty you can actually go behind there as well and then it's like a little bit you can see people behind it i bet they get drenched Wow. I know. Wow. My camera is getting so wet at the moment. <laughs> So, we've just arrived to Skogafoss, which is waterfall number two for today. Just over there. Looks so much like bigger than the other one. It's really cool. So there's actually like a little thing there and you can walk all the way to the top. So you should have a really nice view from there. Just gonna put some waterproofs on because, I mean, we got a little bit wet. 
on the last one so and walking shoes is a must because it's super slippery so I literally feel like I am about to collapse we've got such a long way to go <laughs> we've barely walked any of it and we have made it to the top oh I'm so I'm so out of breath to be fair it is worth it it's a beautiful view but it's so far down as well Right, that was obviously a heck of a journey. That um, <laughs> the first clip earlier that was of like us getting um, that was of us in this shuttle bus, which basically is a bit of a lifesaver instead of having to walk um, 45 minutes. We could just get on this bus both ways and just made the journey so much like easier and better and faster. And so, on. so um, well, that is the biggest part now. Like we're in a four by four. <laughs> so I feel like I've already caught this up right? today. Yeah. Look how misty it's got. Wow. That's mad. I can't even see that when it's a mountain now. No. So, definitely feel like I've got the sun today. Um, so, there's a plane wreck, obviously, which you would have seen, but it's called DC3 or 300 or something. And we're actually not quite sure of what like the story is behind it, but um, it's. this um, restaurant called Stronden Pub and I mean I must say it's basically in the middle of nowhere but uh, we've got some really nice food so I've got some Atlantic cod no what was it was it Atlantic cod anyway yeah, fish Atlantic stew cod. and Josh went with the same option of pesto pasta <laughs> we've got some drinks as well this is like their Fanta here apparently so <laughs> so we finished our lunch which actually I was supposed to say it was like five o'clock when we had our lunch but anyway we'll just have a late dinner but we've just arrived to this beach which is the black sand beach it's pretty cool yeah this is a pretty sensational absolutely gorgeous It almost makes it look like it's all on like black and white film because it's like there's no contrast of any other colour until this. So we've just arrived to this swimming pool which 
It's actually going to be 100 years old next year, so it's built in 1923. It's got a really interesting story behind it, to be honest. Really hope you can hear me, it's super windy. So um, yeah, they built it because this man wanted to like teach people to swim, like local people and stuff like that, so. Wow, it was quite busy. There was literally no one here before. But yeah, it's like geothermal, so it's naturally heated. But I'm just not really sure because there's this like long pipe coming along and it's literally pouring out with hot water. So just don't really understand how it's naturally heated. But yeah, put a hand in there. It was absolutely terrifying, but it is actually warm water. Um, but yeah, the surrounding areas are absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's so misty, you can't even see the top of the mountains. And I was doing a lot of research before we obviously got here. I was watching lots of TikTok videos and they were saying how this actually used to be kept up like quite nicely, but as you can see, it's all neglected and it's all moldy and damp and disgusting because the locals don't want to look after it anymore. So um, yeah, they thought that all of a sudden this became like this massive tourist destination. So there was no point in them like paying money to like keep it all up or something. So really strange. But yeah, as you can see, the stream goes all the way up there. So. Really pretty. I must say, it's got like really creepy, strange, like horror movie vibes. I don't know. Like, there's me, the person who literally never ever watches horror movies, but yeah, I just think, I don't know, it's got like a really creepy feel to it. It's really cute here. They've got their hot tubs here as well. You can see it steaming. Yes, we had a really nice dinner. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have arrived to um, to where we're staying for, for our first evening. So we've got um, our main entrance here and then you come in and there's like a, a lounge area. So all really cute. I love the fireplace. And then we've got a little dining area, really cool light and it's like um, the kitchen area on this side. And then we have the bedroom just through here. So this is called the in a boutique hotel for, for anyone interested and um, there's a there's a bathroom just through here as well which looks nice and clean um, yeah I'll probably show you properly tomorrow but it is really late and we've had a really long day so I'm gonna finish the the day here now and then we'll see you tomorrow good night Good morning, we had a really good night's sleep actually, even though it didn't fully get dark, so that was interesting, but yeah, the bed was super comfortable and we've actually got quite an early start this morning, um, it's only, well, we were up at 6 and we've got our day 2 planned, so yay! <laughs> alright, we're all packed now, so we're just going to put everything in the car and we're going to go get some breakfast. We found this little bakery just around the corner and literally opened about 5 minutes ago, but Look at all this, looks so nice. There's some cheese rolls, like pizza things, and then some sweet stuff on this side as well. Wow, look at these, it's delicious. Look how, look how big this is. It's like a meal in itself. I look so tired this morning. We had such an early, early start to our day, but we've got so much planned for today. Um, some really exciting stuff. So um, we. Oh, oh no! We were going to come to this supermarket to get some snacks and drinks and stuff like that, but it's closed. Oh, it was like ten or eleven. Um, okay, never mind. We are now heading back to the car. We're going to have some breakfast, and we are going to Geyser at the moment which is um, really cool. I'll show you when we're there. We came to this really beautiful place. It's got a really lovely lounge and they do buffet on this side and it has a bar and everything. I feel like it looks really out of place obviously because everything is so like wooden and old-fashioned and then this is like super modern. Um, even this. So beautiful. So, well, this is what it looks like from the outside. Like, it does look really modern compared to all the other places that look like that. Uh, but yeah, we've just parked over here and the geysers are on this side. You can see they're steaming up a bit. Um, we did see one just earlier before we walked in, which is quite cool. But, um, yeah, they do happen like every few minutes and I don't think you can like really like predict when they're coming. No, what do you yeah. mean? 
Wow, it must be so hot. Anyway, this is where the big one is. going on a really cool glacier tour um, and this is the, the car that we're getting there with super cool we've just arrived we're gonna go in there and try on um, put these snow suits on so that we are nice and protected Hey, yeah, we've got a suit. <laughs> got helmets over there. So cool, so we've just driven all the way here to, to see this beautiful view, taking a little break and then going to be swapping drivers on, on the way back. Um, how do you feel about me driving? Yeah, good. <laughs> how do you feel about driving? <laughs> yeah, fine. Well, we're back. <laughs> how was that experience for you? Scary. <laughs> I must no say, control. it was so difficult to see that thing. Oh. We nearly lost our lives. How do I? Uh... That was that was terrifying. <laughs> you don't actually realise how difficult it is to steer, and then you're going really slowly, and then the slower you go, going, the more difficult it is to steer. <sighs> and you were supposed to lean from side to side to like keep the snowmobiles sort of balanced, but that was difficult. <laughs> she nearly killed me. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I did say it would be better for you <laughs> to try. <laughs> oh, right, we are back. We're gonna take all of our gears off and then we are going back on our trusted bus to go back to um, Selfless, I think. But it was so much fun. It was so cool. I genuinely think it was probably one of the coolest things I've actually ever done. <laughs> Stopped off for some sightseeing. It's so beautiful, the contrast between the, the water and the mountains. Um, so we are just on our way to one of the most beautiful waterfalls and we've got roughly 50 minutes left. So we've got some snacks, listening to Michael Jackson. So yay! We've just made it to our next destination which is the god cross it's this beautiful waterfall we've actually driven like quite far off um off road luckily we've got a four by four so it's managed to uh, to let us drive it quite quite well and then the waterfall is so beautiful so there's two waterfalls here I hope you can hear me it's actually really loud <laughs> so there's two waterfalls here they're really near to each other but one of them is quite difficult to get to so we need to sort figure out how we're going to get there. Also, how mad is that? But all of that is snow, which I know you'll think, okay, Iceland, obviously there's going to be snow, but it's like nine degrees, which you'll think that that would have like obviously melted by now, um, but it didn't, so it's quite windy. Hope you can hear me. Let me show you the, let me show you the waterfall. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. God, it's so blue. <gasps> Gorgeous. <gasps> wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful.
Here's our trusted 4x4 that got us here. Um, I mean, honestly, if you look around, like there is just nothing anywhere near here. And then I did see on the map that it was obviously there, but you, you would have no idea that that incredible waterfall is literally hiding behind that there. So pretty amazing. You can't even really hear it from here. It's incredible here, so blue. And oh my goodness, we are so close to the, to the ice and the snow here. Yeah, we're venturing off and there should be like a pathway to get across to the other waterfall. Oh my god, I can see it. It's there. Wow, look Josh. This is so amazing. You can see it melting away and it's just, it's just here. Like it just stops and touch it. Wow. This is incredible. It's so, so blue. So we did come back to this one um, because the other one we just re couldn't really get to it, we couldn't find it properly, we could only really see it from like the far distance and this we thought was so much nicer so yeah, beautiful. I just find something so peaceful about waterfalls, um, the sound of it is so relaxing and it's just so beautiful. Oh, we've just arrived to uh, where we're staying this evening and there's baby lamb here, oh my goodness. So this is where we are staying, this is our little cottage and they're called um, Ostries, Ostries, I think Ostries Cottages, um, but yeah so there's only six of them, so there's three on this side and then two on this side and then there's these man mountains on the other side and the place where we're going for dinner is like literally just around there. Yeah, so peaceful. It's literally so quiet. All you can hear is like the lamb. <laughs> Go on the grass, come down to their level, put some hay in your hand. Um, this is where we are having dinner this evening. There's a restaurant in there and the view is so beautiful. It's so peaceful and the sky actually looks really nice over there. Um, haven't seen much of the sky so far because it's been so... <laughs> Um, like grey and everything but um, really nice view and can't believe it's literally gone past nine o'clock in the evening and it's so light it's literally as if it was like six um, but yeah hopefully they'll do some all right food here uh, we did come and have a look earlier and <laughs> they said that we have to take our shoes off which is a bit strange um, but yeah is so strange. I've never been anywhere but we've had to take our shoes off before. Um, when I say there's no restaurants in the area I honestly mean it. This is the only place that we could find here and it's an old school so it's got like old desks and like old pictures out there of what like, the school used to be like. Anyway so this is our dinner. Um, homemade pizza. <laughs> I'm really joking. And just got some lamb. And yeah, just an update on the sky. It's um what's the time? It's literally 9.30 and it's still full on daylight. It's quite amazing. And also we found out that there is a waterfall that we missed, which is slightly annoying. Look how cool that looks. And it was literally like a two-minute walk from from where we would have been. Um slightly annoying but I guess that just leaves us another thing to do for when we do come back another time oh my god it's a dog there it's literally the second dog we've seen since we've been here um I read like a really weird thing about them not being allowed to like have a dog like quite a few years ago anyways it's a literally quarter past 10 in the evening <laughs> and this is how light it is pretty crazy anyways so we're gonna go back to our cottage now and just relax as I literally feel like we haven't stopped at all for the past like two days <gasps> we're just coming back to our accommodation and these lamb are just <laughs> am I meant to call them sheep I feel bad for no, them they're so lamb. are they gonna move oh. sweet. the good night was hoping to get quite a nice sunset but it's um it's all hidden by those mountains over there so but yeah 
still just can't get over how light it is still. Like even yesterday evening, we noticed that the um, the sun never actually like fully went down, which is weird because it's not really meant to happen until the end of June. So it's like they call it midnight sun. I think where the sun like never goes down, but didn't quite expect it to be happening already. Sort of like mid end of May, but it's nice, and they've got like full-on blinds everywhere to make sure that you could like sleep in and everything so you can see we have like shut all the um the blinds as well in preparation for tonight we're gonna go to sleep now and i'll show you what our room looks like tomorrow morning so good night good morning and um, right i can't even believe that we woke up to this beautiful view honestly it's been this light since um well, probably about three in the morning or so, but to be fair, these blackout curtains have been pretty amazing, so. And because of how dark they are, it has made this room boiling hot this morning, but it was quite nice, and it was just really nice to open the door really early in the morning and just sleep like that, but yeah, just a quick overview of this little place where we stayed. We have a little lounge and kitchen area, and the bathroom is through there, and then here's the bed. Um, so yeah, there's a little cute barbecue area outside as well. So yeah, we are basically all ready to, um, to lock up now. And then yeah, we're going to go find some breakfast somewhere and, um, and ha head to the, the national park. Right. So our first place this morning that we are going to is Thingfilly Park. It's like a national park. Um, and there's a really beautiful waterfall there, so just going to go see that now and then um, we are heading to um, the Blue Lagoon. So this is the National Park and we are going to see this waterfall. The Blue Lagoon is so pretty, the water is so pretty. It's also really really windy but yeah this is just like the pathway where you can walk along and this isn't the, the part where you can go swimming in it so we've had a look at the blue lagoon but it was so busy and didn't buy any tickets beforehand so we found another lagoon called the sky lagoon which is where we are at now um can't see anything but it's got like this really cool um outside i'll show you just here so yeah we're just about to go in now and buy tickets for this place So there's like three different packages that you can get and we've got the, the sky package so you have like your own changing room um like a shower and it's just a lot more private than the other ones oh it also includes like this seven step ritual so it's basically like a spa you get to like um sit in the steam room have oh no the sauna body scrubs so that's cool i thought i would show you show you all what um what the lagoon looks like here. It's so pretty, you can see it's steaming up as well. So there's like a whole section along there as well. It's like an infinity pool, and then there's a, a bar and a spa as well. So lots of things out here it's really nice and the water is between like 38 to 40 degrees so really nice and warm right, it's 8 30 and we've come for dinner it's meant to be one of um, the nicest restaurants in, in Iceland so yeah this is pretty We've just been seated downstairs and it's so nice in here. It's very cozy and it's really pretty. So funny that like full on daylight is coming through though. Um, so we have just ordered some bread, which is really nice. Um, bread and butter. We've got some lava salt as well. So our dinner has just arrived. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Um, so we've got lamb chops here and we have a waterhouse, 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 uh, steak with some really nice fries. 
So what Beautiful. you're having is a grilled market chocolate. This one is chocolate tart, freshly done up waffles. Wow, it's beautiful. This actually arrived to the table next to us and we thought, oh, <laughs> it's incredible. And then they just unexpectedly brought it over. I mean, this is a dessert and a half, isn't it? Just 